And so what we'll do here in Visual Studio, File, New, Project. Make sure it's a blank Cordova, a blank Apache project. Save this to your flash drive uh, before you save it. Let's call this CBDB. The project will be our CBDB project. Solution is CBDB. And then location. Save it to your flash drive. On my flash drive, I have a folder for this semester, this month. One thing that I will say, I, I started to notice this last time. When people copied my project from the network folder, a few people saw that it had said a few file names were too long to copy. Very odd and annoying. So that has to do with, in my network folder, there is, uh, I put a, a file there, test02 2017-01-11. The name of that file seemed to be too long when it was copied to your flash drive. Because inside of it, there's other folders and subfolders and subfolders and subfolders. So there is a limit in Windows. Uh, definitely in Windows 7, these computers, but maybe not in Windows 10. There's a limit to the, net, to the length of a file, including its path, which I believe is 255 characters. So somewhere in this project, there is a file that is longer than 255 characters. I think the way to fix this is I'm going to save this project to my flash drive. I'm still in the middle of saving, but I'm going to save it on the root level of my project. I have a folder in here mad to dev platform. This is contributing to the length of my files. I think it's going to be safer to, to save it to the root level of your project, to your flash drive. Selecting that, it's going to get saved to my F drive, and it's going to create a subfolder called CBDB. So if you create a folder on your flash drive called CBDB, it's going to create another folder inside of it called CVDB because you have this turned on. I would recommend here uh, select your root level and let it create a folder called CVDB. Click OK. Okay, so this overview screen, it's a lot of great stuff to read, but I'm going to close it. So this tab, this is the overview of the project, you can close it. And you can always get it back by going to Project Menu Overview. I do have that in the notes, I think on note number two. Okay, so I've got a brand new blank project. I'm going to set it up for real for the purposes of the real CBD project. The first thing that I often want to do is set up the basic features of my app, which are found inside of Config XML. Once you've got a new project, double click Config XML. My handout number two. Again, gives you a general overview of what the config file is. We don't need to do anything inside of the screen tool set. Leave that alone. Common. We're going to set these items here so that they are so that they make sense. Display name is the icon of the app. It's CBDB. That's what I want to call it. That's fine. If you want to call it something else, that's fine as well. For example, the comic book database. You can use this if you want. This is the this is the um, 
This is the text that will appear below your icon. Before you change that name, look at the icons of the common apps, of the apps that you use commonly. Notice that most of these don't have very long names. They have a quick name like camera, contacts, uh, Facebook, Instagram, you know, even, uh, even the Amazon shopping cart. When I download it, it's called Amazon shopping cart, but when it's installed here, it's just called cart or Amazon or something. You know, I have the I have the Target Cartwheel app, that cool app that you can scan and get discounts at Target. It's just called Cartwheel on the device. So whatever name you want here is what will appear below your icon. I will keep it as CBDB because there's a, only a little bit of space that will be visible on the device. Start page, you want to leave that as is, index file. Default locale, leave that as is. And then package name. This is where, what I said on day one. Now you have to decide what to write here. You can write what I'm going to write, but think one step outside. Don't always just follow me exactly wrote. You want to put here the name of your website. You want to put here a fictional website. You don't actually have to have this website for real, but you need some sort of unique identifier that will identify your app. Eventually, the final goal of this class is that you're going to upload this app to a real app store if you want. And if you're uploading com.campus.cbdb, it won't work because I already uploaded com.campus.cbdb. So when you try to upload your version, it'll reject it. There already will exist an app in the App Store with this unique package name. Yes? Um, any app that you create should have this root. You know, yourwebsite.com, and then the final part of it is the unique app. The final part of it is this app, CBDB. If later I create a calculator app, then it's my unique website got the name of this app. So you can have as many apps as you want. They're all tied to the same domain. And technically what this is, I don't believe it has a limit. So this doesn't have to be the same as this, but it's often the same. What is the name of your icon? It's the same as what your app is here. So whatever valid reverse domain name. I have a real domain name of vmcinc.net. So if I was going to set this up, developing apps or publishing apps as VMC Inc., I would have net.vmcinc.cbdb. So any valid domain name will work for that prefix. And then the final part is what is the name of this app. This is how there can be 20 uh, calculator apps on the App Store, because then this part is unique to each developer. Version. Uh, let's set this up as 1.1.todaysdate, 2017, 07, 13, 14, 13. This is the first version of our app. When we go on and add bigger features to it, eventually we'll change it to version 2. The minor version is let's say we were to publish this to the app stores today and it has these certain features it has five features let's say that we add a sixth feature that I might then upload it as 1.2 plus the date the reason why we would change these numbers is sort of arbitrary but oftentimes we change the major number when there's a big change to the app you've changed the design of it completely you've changed the color scheme you've changed the layout You've changed the features in a big way. You know, having Instagram, I remember Instagram 1.0. So 
So I'm a hipster and I was on Instagram on week one before all of you. Uh, before it was even on Android. It was iPhone only. It was a very exclusive club for us. And all you Android guys showed up. So uh, Instagram 1.0 had these certain features and this certain design. Then eventually a version 2 came out which had the features of now Android people can use it. The major version is for big changes. Minor version is for some changes that are not so different that it's a whole new version of the app. And a build is just a, a common way to put when was the date that this one was completed or published. Author here, again, you can write whatever you want. Uh, this can be changed whenever you want. But again, ultimately, the goal is we're going to complete the CBDB app. And it's not going to be your grade to actually publish it to a real app store. But it's really nice for you to do that. If you're going to publish it to a real app store, you're a real developer. You don't need to ask permission, really. You don't need to get a business license. You are a developer once you create apps. So here, you can create your real developer account, your real developer name, make it up, whatever. I'm just going to make up a company, Victor's Apps, uh, Victor's App Design Company. Great, that's going to be my company. You can borrow that if you want. But again, if these things are exactly the same as something that already exists on the App Store, yours will be rejected. Just make it up to whatever you want. It can be changed at any point. Like one minute before you're going to publish it, I, I think... Uh, one minute before you're going to upload it to the iTunes store, you think, actually, I want to change myself to this name. You can. Uh, description. Okay, here's a, just tells you that this is a blank platform. Let's write a real description. The comic book database. Database app. Track your collection. Track your collection. Save names, years, um, pictures, notes, or any comic book. So this is just a description that explains what this app is, the app stores, may read this description and put it into your listing. You will have the ability, of course, to fine-tune the listing for different app stores, iTunes App Store, Android App Store, etc., Google Play. But this is just a general description of what your app is. Next is the orientation. In this case, what I want is that our app will only have a vertical orientation. The default is that the person twists and they will have the landscape view. That's fine. I want to, for this app, to only be vertical. So let's change this to portrait. When you make your own app, you can leave it as is. You can leave it to landscape. You know, what's a common scenario for an app that is locked into landscape? What do you think? translator app. And that, your translator app is always landscape? Only, yeah, works only landscape. Oh good, so you can see more of the text. What's another app that might be only landscape? Games. Games are often landscape because I need to have the space to play it. Our app is going to be vertical. Think about Instagram, think about Facebook, think about Twitter. Those are vertical. If you go landscape, nothing happens. It's always vertical because that's how they want to show their app. And some apps let you twist back and forth. In my case, I want to have our app the CBDV app be portrait. Uh, I'm going to leave alone full screen no. I want it to continue to show the basic icons at the top, the battery level and all of that, but if you don't want to show that, you can click yes and it'll cover it. Question? So, you sometimes you go on apps and um, on your phone it's like you can change the background and it's Or 
it's a little bit hard to figure out what particular issue might be happening with that. If you're, if you're able to kind of show me an example, I can give you the best answer. But probably it is a combination of a few things. They coded it improperly. It is not able to access the outside. Most likely, they, their CSS is bad. But it could also be that it is locked. Portrait, and then stuff is off the edge. So for us, well, we're going to be safe because we're going to make a good app. The reason that the other one is not working is because they didn't make a good app. We're going to make a good app because we know we want to be portrait, and we're going to design our app with our CSS and everything so that it fits well vertically. And my thought was just, if you do the landscape of portrait, does that mean that you know, create whatever way Yes, in theory, it, it should, uh, coupled with CSS, coupled with CSS, uh, if we write CSS properly, yes, when we go landscape or portrait, it should conform itself with responsive design principles to fit either one. But the problem is with mine, um, you know, I just choose that I want to make this design to be portrait because I know we're going to design our project that fits well on a vertical screen that we know we're going to write the right fonts and sizes so that it fits good on a vertical screen. Is it changing, like, can be changing in the yeah, any of this stuff can be changed at any time in the future uh, if you decide uh, you want to do it a different way. Yeah. Domain access for the moment, we'll just leave this alone. This will basically let, let us select anything. The asterisk is a wild card. It'll let us connect to any resource define the list of accessible external domains. So our project, in theory, could access any website outside of itself. But if I wanted to say here, only access google.com, our website could only go outside of itself to access a Google website. I want to leave the asterisk, which is any website at the moment. Let's jump over to the Android. Yes? Say that a little louder. Domain access. Explain a little bit more than I just did. Okay, well, the domain access is the ability for you to access different websites, different domains outside of the app, other websites that are allowed for you to use in this app. Okay. 